Hello and welcome to the tutorial on addition number bonds to 20. Now if you recall the number bonds to 10, we drew the numbers on the left hand side and we worked through a pattern. We're going to do the similar thing over here. This time they have to equal 20. So start on the left hand side, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Just going to scroll down a little bit so it's very clear. And then on the right hand side, I'm going to change colors. We're going to do 10. So, we're, so we are writing 10 again, and we're counting upwards 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Now, what do you notice about these sets of numbers? Let's start with the top one. 0 and 20. If you put a plus sign in there, it equals 20. Let's look at the next one. Go 1 and 19. Put another plus sign. That also equals 20. 2 and 18 equals 20. We keep going. 3 and 17 equals 20. And we can keep doing this. And if you know how to do this and learn how you write the numbers down, 0 to 10 and then 10 to 20. So we're down to 7 plus 13. <coughs> Excuse me, 7 plus 13. The next one is 8 and 12. That also makes 20. All right, we're almost there. Now, even in an exam situation, if you face with one of these questions of number bonds, you can draw this out. This is taking a bit of time because I'm changing colors, but ultimately, once you get the hang of this, you'll be able to write these out very, very quickly. Okay, so let's have a look at our first example. We have 7 plus something equals 20. So what number added to 7 gives 20? Well, look at our chart on the left. See if you can find 7. Where is 7? It is over here. In fact, I'll just draw the arrow over here. It is here. Now, what number added to 7 gives 20? It is 13. 13. 7 plus 13 is 20. Okay, let's move on to our second one. Suppose this time we have something plus 15 equals 20. Something plus 15 equals 20. So the missing number is now the first one. So we have to find number 15. Where is 15 on our chart on the left? I'll just draw the arrow. There it is. And what number added to 15 gives 20? It is 5. There we go. So, learning how to write the chart on the left is very important. Once you learn how to do this, over a period of time, you will be able to memorize the two sets of numbers that make 20. Okay, and all of this comes with practice.